Hello everyone, and welcome back to the final episode of my playthrough of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Let's continue. Chapter 16 Fighting the parasite for control of his own body, Leon uses his last remaining strength to get Ashley to the lab, in desperate hope that Louis's legacy can still save them. Ashley. Ashley. I'm right here. I thought you were gonna die. Okay. You did this. Yeah. Yeah, I did this. Can you stand? <clears throat> Map. Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go this way. Hey, we're a team, right? Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. So, all of this, removing the parasites, this was the week. Yeah, we're alive. Thanks to him. That we are. Some nice bonding moments, and yeah, as I was hoping for, Ashley did uh, use the, the machine with Leon. The same procedure to remove the parasite. Thankfully, it's very easy, it seems. Very easy to operate. Loot. Give me. Give me, give me. Uh, methods for eradicating Las Plagas. There are two ways to eradicate Las Plagas. Antigen injection and surgery. If the parasite has not hatched yet, it can be treated by administering antigen directly into the body. Once it has hatched, however, there's not much that can be done besides slow its growth. With surgery, the plaga can be targeted and killed use a certain uh, wavelength of radiation. But this is not without its risks. If the parasite has attached itself to the host's nervous, nervous system, the host will experience excruciating pain, and there is no effective anesthesia for this kind of procedure. Was that Ashley's case? Maybe Leon's too, I don't know. Surgical removal carries considerable risks even before the parasite has fully developed. Once fully grown, however, it is too late. Removing the parasite will kill the host. But considering what will happen to them, that may be a mercy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, thankfully we got it in time. So we are good now. Europe Laboratory Seeds Dream Team Umbrella Corporation, there you go. And... Uh, oh, wait, is that Luis? In the very center of the picture? I think so, yeah. He did work for Umbrella. No one else that I recognize? No, no, I don't suppose. This is all, these are all real people. I don't expect to recognize any of them, really. Actually, I would recognize Albert Wesker if he was here, I think, because there was an old picture in another Resident Evil game with Wesker and a group of Umbrella scientists, and he was still wearing his damn shades, <laughs> which is hilarious. Yeah, very iconic appearance, I guess. But yeah, other than that, I don't know anyone else here. <laughs> Uh, Sadler's Animus Do not be fooled into thinking that Las Plagas are merely tools for creating powerful bioweapons. Their true value lies in their ability to control. No matter how hostile the subject, a single injection can turn anyone into a faithful servant. Who needs spies when you can turn yesterday's enemy into today's ally? Controlling just one insider can bring an entire organization, an entire country, to its knees. 
Mass production of the superior species has made this possible. We have empowered Sadler. It is clear what he intends to do next. Can you imagine if Sadler had that much control? Six billion loyal servants at his sole command. There will be no opposition, no war. Maybe for the first time in human history, the world will know peace. But I know how Sadler and the others have oppressed the people of this island for generations. I know how he treats them. That's no way to live. And because of that, I won't let it happen. Oh, interesting. Who is writing this? Is this from Louis as well? Yeah, so that's the idea, right? That Sadler is somehow going to uh, gain control of all of the human race. I don't know what his great plan is. Well, of course he's going to use, to use the Plagas, but I don't know how exactly. <laughs> How's the plan going to work? In the whole game, his only plan was to infect Ashley with the parasite and then send her back while she's still uh, herself or apparently herself at least functional functional to some degree so when she goes back to uh, to the US well pretty much she infects everyone of power there starting with the US president of course and I guess by taking control of the strongest superpower in the world the US Everything else is just easy. He will find a way to to conquer the world. Is that his plan? I don't know. But yeah, the idea is quite insane. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm surprised this thing even booted up. Yeah, I know. Oh, emails. Subject regarding our arrangement from Luis. I've compiled the research data that you wanted. Meet me at the designated time and place. To be clear, you're going to get me the hell out of here if I bring you the goods, right? Uh, regarding our arrangement from... Oh, this is Ada, right? Ada Wong. I hope you haven't forgotten about the Ember. Without it, the data is worthless. It would be a shame to let your seed go to waste. So do not make me return empty-handed. You still remember the code phrase, I assume? Uh, from Luis, relax, I haven't forgotten. And don't worry about the ember, I'll figure something out. Think you can pick me up a pack of smokes on the way? Any brand is fine. Okay, yeah. So, obviously, he was mm, working with Ada. And they, had a, they had a deal, right? She wants the amber and they... And she gets Luis out of here, so Luis really cannot get out of here on his own, right? He's stuck with the cult as a traitor. And Aira was going to get him out if he could get the Amber, which I guess he couldn't. Okay. The Amber. This sample, which I've come to call the Amber, was just sitting in the storeroom collecting dust. We used to have ample specimens for experimentation in the past, so it makes sense that this one was overlooked. In fact, the only reason I brought it back to my lab was because of its peculiar shape. So, wait, so this is not actually Amber? After a basic analysis, I've changed my, I've changed my mind. The Amber possesses a very unique quality, although small and in a suspended state, it contains the same organ found in the dominant species, which we've only seen in Sadler himself. When fully developed, the Amber may rival, or perhaps even surpass, Sadler's power. Fortunately, the Amber was confiscated by Sadler before I could make any further progress in my research. He may be onto me. I need to get my hands on that sample again and escape in order to continue my research elsewhere. It's the only way to counter Sadler. Of course, I don't think I can trust this outside group uh, either, but I've already come this far. Hopefully, I can sweet talk my way out of this one too. I'll have to, for the world's sake. Okay, something very interesting here. Sadler, what the hell is the dominant species? So, 
whatever Sadler has, he's like obviously a superhuman of some kind. Is that why he can control every type of plagas? But uh, this amber is something different. It's like a different version of the parasite. So it's not the same. So Sadler's powers didn't come from this new research of this amber. He already had superpowers, maybe. Or well, he already had some sort of Plagas parasite within him from long ago. I, I don't know. They, they do say that uh, Sadler's family has been pretty much controlling this whole place for a long time, right? So it's not only Sadler. Uh, because uh, from the ending on, on of the old game, the credit scene, it seems like uh, the villagers were just normal people living their lives until the cold appeared and started infecting them. And from what I read so far in a few of these documents in this game, it seems that it's the same because we read a few old uh, notes that mention the injections and the people for the castle starting to inter interact with the village, the cult, right? So how does that work? Maybe Sadler's family, they had already some of these... Uh, how, do he, how does he call it? The same organ found in the dominant species? They already had like some sort of superpowers long ago and this whole plan with the plagas is recent. Although, yeah, no, they also mentioned that the, the castle, the Salazar family has fought the plagas for a long time as well, right? They have fought the parasite by sealing it because it was uh, under the castle. So, hmm. I don't know, some piece of history here is missing. What's the relationship between the Sadler family and the rest of these, these people? So this Amber thing is new. He's comparing it to the power of, of Sadler. When fully developed, the Amber may rival or perhaps even surpass Sadler's Sadler's power. More questions. Hmm. Yeah, this outside group, whoever Ada is working for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Also, I just use my knife by pressing uh, the trigger, left trigger, L3. How the hell did that happen? Like, whoa, wait, is that normal? Huh. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. Is that supposed to happen with that? Yeah, just pressing the, the stick. Uh, well, well, not just pressing it. Pressing it while moving uh, forward. At the same time, like trying to run does this instead of actually running wait did i change that hey it's all right okay let's go wait a second why that's the run well, I'm, I'm confused now <laughs> anyway uh oh oh it's my controller yeah, I'm not pressing anything right now. Wow, this is not good. This is going to make me die. Okay, what? what's the problem? Weird. That shouldn't be happening right now. It has to be my controller, right? I don't think it's a walking game. Ah. I mean, I don't think this controller has anything wrong. This is weird. Not the most uncomfortable place I've slept before. Yeah. Okay, I will have to go. I will have to keep going like this. And hopefully it won't start to act weird. Because this is the final chapter. I, I'm about to end the game. Uh, Luis's laboratory, right. So where are we? 
Right, this place. Leon was having visions Look, when Karen Ashley. So I didn't get to see this place. But yeah. Sanctuary. Escape route. Escape route. What? Sorry. Okay. Like you I said, go up there? Yeah. You. Right. He's very excited to help. I mean, granted, they just got the parasite removed, so they should be feeling pretty damn good. Especially her. A literal weight has been lifted off her chest. Uh, okay, so we have to go up there. But let me check this part first. Any loot here? Mm, nothing. You sure you're okay? Ah, never been better. Good. Yeah, as I said. They should be feeling pretty damn good right now. Yeah, Ashley in the old game didn't <laughs> have too much of a... Uh, uh, I don't know if I will say personality. She had one... At, an annoying personality, but she didn't change much in the whole game. And she didn't speak much at all with Leon. So yeah, she was mostly a damsel distress. And granted, Ashley... I mean, obviously she still... Pretty vulnerable, and she really can't fight at all, I don't think. But, at least now she's trying to help in whatever small way she can. She's not just following Leon, which is a good change. Hey, there's a, there's a treasure there. Where? Oh, I had... Oh, okay, thank you. I don't, I don't have to go back. I'm running just fine now. I don't know what was happening with my knife there. But alright. Okay. Yes, give me ammo, please. All the ammo. Oh, there's a treasure in the sanctuary. I guess I can go back, right? Right, this connects to that place. Whoa, what is this? Look at this place. For that woman who helped us. You think she's all right? Oh, I'm sure she's fine. She's not the type to roll over that easy. Sounds like you know her well. She's like a part of me I can never let go. <laughs> or something like that, was it? Actually, he really doesn't know her at all. They barely interact with each other. He mostly was being manipulated by her in the Raccoon City incident. But she clearly made an impression on him. I mean, I get it, she's super hot, but still. And it seems like Ada does have a soft spot for Leon as well. But other than that, they really don't know each other very much. I mean, at, at this point they hadn't met in about 6 years, so there's that. That's why he was uh, trying to ask her if she changed at all. Just kind of a weird relationship. Knife, don't do it. Don't knock on your own. Uh, all right. So nothing here. Right. What is that sound? Is that, that's, is that just part of the soundtrack, the ambient noise? It was like some very high frequency sound. Hmm. No, I want to run, not to use the knife, thank you. 
Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Is that the first time you've seen, you've seen this box? Ashley, are you okay with box? Because in this version of the game, they didn't, uh, they didn't kidnap you. Uh, the treasure is all the way at the... Uh, wait. The what? Oh, right. Crouch. At the, uh, the altar? I don't know how else, what else to call it. Oh, I didn't see you. I almost shot Ashley right there. <laughs> so, what are these sacred scriptures or whatever? Illuminado's final chapter. Praise be to the holy insects. We have been promised paradise on earth. Man, woman, or child. His love does not discriminate beast, fish, or bird. All creatures shall be equally blessed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the humble servants of God. His wisdom will overcome any mountain. His omnipotence will cross any ocean. The light of heaven dwells in all things. Let our bodies be the seedbed. Praise be to the holy insects. We are the flock and the shepherd guides us. Our prayers will be sung all over the world. They will be heard by all. At last, we shall exceed the stars in the sky. Wow. So yeah, I... At some point in the game, I ask myself, how old is the uh, Illuminados cult? Very old, because they have all of these ancient books, it seems. So, I guess they really have been, been working on this for a long time. Maybe since the very first time humans discover plagas in this area. Because their powers of controlling, there have been a lot of people trying to make this uh, religion out of it. And it became Los Illuminados. Oh. And I guess Sadler's family also started like that. And Ramon's family were the ones fighting against them, maybe. That would be a cool story from the past, right? It's like the Plagas Hunters, Zombie Hunters, right? That's kind of cool. Instead of Vampire Hunters, Salazar family was the, I don't know, Mutant Hunters or some or something. Until they lost, sadly. Maybe just recently, right? In Ramon's or Ramon's father's time is when it all happened. And finally, Sadler managed to get control of the whole area just recently. Maybe that's it. That's how the story goes. Osmond 15. Yeah, Osmond Sadler, the current Sadler. Oh, is that a treasure? Yeah, it's Illuminados Pendant. Okay. Right, that was the treasure. Yeah, obviously this have, they have this obsession with the with insects because, because that's how the monster created created by las plagas look like for the most part arthropods. That makes me think of a. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to keep talking all day here without moving. I want to finish the game, but this makes me question a lot of things about the parasites biology wise because these insects seem to have a, a conscience of their own. They're trying to infect all these humans. It seems like they're trying to control humanity. They're trying to get on top. And it doesn't seem to be anything supernatural about it. It's just evolution. It's natural laws, pretty much. They just want to expand their species through all of the world. They're trying to survive, to reproduce. Just like any other parasite. It almost sounds like an alien species, but well, not actually alien. Well, I don't know actually. 
with, who knows with these Resident Evil storylines. Actually, that reminds me of a joke Leon made in the original game when he first met Sadler. It sounds like an alien invasion. Something like that, right? At the church where he rescued Ashley first. <laughs> Funny how that works. No, not the knife. Provenance Monolith. Deep beneath the castle grounds, I have found my fate. Oh, behold, the divine vestiges left upon this world. It all begins here. <laughs> Adam Sadler. I almost read that as Adam Sandler. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, the lore goes a lot deeper than I thought. No, no, not Adam, not Adam Sandler. Uh, Adam Sadler, okay? Thank you. No, not the actor. Uh, okay, so where do I go? Back here? I don't think so, right? Is there no other place here to go? No? Hmm, maybe not. Because this is the objective, the escape route. Huh. Oh, there's another treasure there. Oh, okay, I came from here. Now I need this other part. Okay. Wait a second. Is that correct? Over here? No, that's that's not it. No, wait, it is here. We can climb. As the yellow paint tells me. Oh, nice. Gunpowder. So yeah, it, it, it all seems like the, the plagas, the parasite is just another uh, life form inert with a very powerful mind control ability very smart too because they are using humans to expand themselves because that's the way to make themselves the most efficient creature on the planet right taking control of the current uh, most advanced civilization making them think they're just following god pretty much Right, I'm scary. Almost Lovecraftian. No, let me run. Not that. Okay, let me check my options here. Real quick. Quick turn is L3. This has nothing to do with the knife, right? So why is that happening? Yeah, ready parry is L1, shoot knife attack is R2. Yeah, I have no idea why pressing uh, L3 is giving me a knife attack. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Because the, the quick turn, it works. Yes. But then, yeah, quick turn is uh, L3. I'm pressing downward, but if I press forward, is the knife, and sometimes it just does the knife. I'm not, I was not even pressing anything. See, I'm not pressing anything, but he's using the knife. So is that a controller issue? And um, it's just happening now. At... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know what it is, so I cannot solve it. So I'm just going to keep going and uh, finish this game. I'll worry about it later. Where the hell were you? You bastard. Okay. Follow me. Hey, there's a merchant. Nice. Ok, 
Okay. An achievement. Oh. I got all the treasures. Where? Just in the island? I don't think I got all the treasures in the whole game, right? No, because I missed a few, I'm sure. I missed the one in the castle with Ashley and another one somewhere else. So that's, that was probably just about the island. I got all the treasures in the island, maybe. Loading dogs. So is the game, is this chapter really very short, actually? Am I very close to fight Sadler? Damn. Maybe. Because there, there are no more, uh, yeah, there are no more treasures, there are no more missions, uh, side quests. So I guess we, we really are at the very end right now. Damn. Well, in that case. In that case, this might be my last chance to buy stuff. So. I guess this is the time to actually sell all of my treasures and get the most amount of money I can get to keep upgrading my stuff, right? Yeah, I should do that. So let's start with this cat, maybe. Well, actually, let's start with the most valuable one, which is the crown, right? Uh... Okay, so what do I put here? What gives me the more money? I wonder. Hmm. Wait, where was that menu? Ah, here. So apparently these bonuses, uh, the best bonus for five is five colors. Because I was confused at the beginning because so far I, ha I haven't done anything with these bonuses. I just put the, the most valuable gems and individually that gives me the, more, the most money usually. However, in this case, yeah. It seems like five gemstones of different colors is the best, period. It doesn't matter what uh, shape, right? Only the color. So, I have uh, one of each color, so is that going to give me more money that put in, that just put in all of my most valuable ones there? Let's say I put uh, three red uh, square ones and two diamond ones. Technically, that will be the most money because those are the most valuable ones. However, is, if I do the bonus one, is that really going to give me more? So, let's just see. It's an experiment. Let's say I put this, I put this, and this, and then the these two with yellow ones. So this is one hundred and eight thousand pesetas. The duo and trio bonus one point eight. The five color bonus is two point zero. So now let's do that and uh, let's see if. If this gives me even more money, one of each color. Okay, so green, purple, red, then blue, and yellow. There it is, five color bonus. No, it doesn't. See, that's what I thought. At the end of the day, the bonus really doesn't matter because, yeah, uh, the individual price is all what counts in the end. You get more money if you put the more expensive stuff, which, I mean, makes perfect sense. But I thought the, the bonuses were a bigger deal than this, to be honest. Yeah, unless, unless I'm, I'm dumb and I'm missing something obvious. This just seems better, just putting the most expensive stuff. Uh, I mean, not by much, but still better, right? So, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that then. Let's remove everything and just let me put the most expensive stuff. Although I would like to keep some of this for the other treasures as well, right? Like this. 
Yeah. Is that worth it? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah, let's do this. Now, for this one, I can just put uh, one of these. The other one here. Like this. Sure. Then we have the cat. Can put this one here. Like this. And if I do this instead. Oh, oh, wait. Ah, now the bonus actually is better. I mean, just by a little. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it just depends on the, how expensive the individual gems are. So in some cases, the bonus does matter a little. But yeah, if there's a lot of gems and you put uh, all the best ones, that's usually just the better option, I think. Right? So, for example, here, two purple ones is uh, okay. And if I put a red one instead, yeah, this is still better. So that's it. Uh, this is for selling only, selling only, selling only. And that's all I have. Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. What's uh, that? Yeah. How have we procured Let's. these curiosities? <laughs> I can sell Luis's key. Don't wanna know. Illuminado stuff, gold ingot, both crystal lords, the elegant crown, old velvets, golden links, splendid bangle, ornate necklace. So that's a lot of money. Yes, yes it is. Let's do it. Yeah, this is the final chapter, what the hell? It's now or never. <laughs> Got an achievement, which I was expecting. That's a lot of money. Just sell a treasure for what? At least 100k or more. Uh, now, what do I do? What do I upgrade? Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> See how that feels, mate. Sure. Better like yourself should notice the difference right away. Hmm, the knife maybe? Probably I should. Yeah. No whip. Try that on for size. Sad to say that's the end of the road for that weapon. Packs a punch. <laughs> Enough for most. So now I can buy the explosive for the knife, increases power. I probably should do that just to get one thing maxed out, right? In my first playthrough. That will be nice. Because I really not don't care. For these weapons too much to keep upgrading them i don't even have enough ammo because uh, yeah i maxed out the shotgun's power but i barely have any shotgun shells so i don't know yeah just to have so something maxed out let's do it Easy work. It doesn't give there you go another achievement it's a veritable work of art I mean, I don't know if I'm going to use this knife in what's left of the game, but still, just to have it. Maybe for another playthrough. A well weapon can make up for a lack of skill, friend. I really don't, don't have much else. Maybe this one? Am I going to use this one? I don't know. Anything might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if oh. am I right? This really is the end right here. Also, yeah, Ashley lost her uh, jacket. Sorry to hear about it. Same thing happened to me. Eh, 
I'm wondering, should I uh, get the other submachine gun? Because they use the same ammo, but that one should be more powerful, right? Does that even matter? Just, uh, maybe. Can I sell this? Welcome. Ooh, what you buying? <laughs> Suit you. Which one? This one? Yeah, right. Maybe I should just use this one. I'm not going to use the assault rifle, that's for sure. Maybe. Sure, let's do it. What the hell? Just to try a little, little bit. Uh, sell the TMP. Sure. Oh, stranger. Ooh, pleasant travels. And also, since this is probably the end, let me get yeah the broken butterfly. Right. And welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale. Let me upgrade this as well to the mats. Uh, power, Hold at least. Weapon to suit dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. There you go. I could also sell this to get the killer seven, but uh, I don't feel like it. This is good enough. This is a lot of damage. If you want a fighting chance out there, you best tune up your kit. Rate of fire, sure. See how that feels, mate. Fella like yourself should notice the difference right away. That's good enough for me, I think. Right? Now this one. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. This kind of work is about finesse. Straight there you go. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. And that is all. Will that be come back any time? I guess if I need more money, I can just sell the remaining uh, treasures, right? These ones. Sure. I could. Welcome. Just two. Uh, can I do anything with this money? I don't know. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I need 40k for the next power one. Anything else here? Gold tokens I don't need. And I cannot buy this, so... Yeah, that's it. These stocks, I don't need them. Velvet loose for sale, I guess. Sure. A wise choice. I know, I say that a lot, but I mean a deal well struck. <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot a very important thing. Yeah, I had a charm to get better prices. Did I not? I mean, it's not much, but uh, sure. I can use it at least once. Right. Your yeah, it's not that big of a discount, but oh well. Mate. I'll see you dazzled, are you? <laughs> Come back any time. And that's it. Okay, that looks good enough for me. Right? I don't think I need the biosensor scope anymore, but I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I have space left, so this is good. And I'm, I'm about to reload some weapons. And I guess I'm really not using the shotgun at all in these last chapters because I don't get any shotgun shells really. Which is a shame because I really like this weapon. And I really like spamming it in the old game because you get the 100 shotgun shells for free when you get the special upgrade. So it sucks that that's not the case anymore. Oh well. Right. Reload everything. Let me put this here.
right? This one, uh, yeah, that's that's fine. So, are we good to go? Maybe. I guess. Let me save it. All right. I'm without. What? Oh, yeah, it is. Ada. Hmm. Yeah, she's not doing so good. I mean, she seems unharmed. She's just hanging there, probably a bait to get me. Yeah, yeah. So wow, this really is the final boss battle right here. Not even a last, uh, a last wave of enemies, no, not at all. Well, I guess I get to keep all of this ammo for the boss. That's good. Something else. No. Damn. I don't see anything. So I guess not. Just checking the area. Yeah, I guess not. He thinks he's gonna lure me out. Yep. So let's see, let's see how this goes. Ashley, are you going to stay here? Stay here. I won't be long. Okay. Okay, if it's Adler, not now, knife. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, I'm trying to hear what, what he's saying, but uh, it's not a good idea. Oh, 
Oh, that was it for my... Uh... Ouch. Oh, too slow. Okay. Oh, they met. The scope threw, threw me off, actually. I forgot I had it. Oh, wow. I don't have anything else to heal, so... It's actually a little hard to aim with this. Okay. Oh, no. come on. Give me the other eye. Okay. You're back down here. No, don't spawn in six, man. That's annoying. Can, oh, can I use the knife now? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, Red Herb. Okay. Oh, nice music, by the way. I still have some, uh, yeah, some machine gun ammo. Okay, shotgun shells, nice. Oh, whoa. What? What now? There's a lot of, a lot of space here for this fight, that's cool. What is going on here? That's a lot. That's a lot of bugs. Whoa. Okay. Oh, no, no. Right. Uh, do I bother with some grenade? Maybe the small one. We're good. going to jump. Yes, yes, he is. Okay. I want to go on the other side if I can. Oh, damn it. Which side? Oh, wrong side. I want the other side. Can I go down here? No. There's a bridge. How does this activate? Also, that is floating there. Ah, oh, no. That's nasty. Yeah, I should use the handgun for this box, but... Uh... Can I move past you? At all? Let's see. Zigzag, zigzag. <laughs> Come on. I want to see what's all the way there. Oh, I pressed that game. Come on. Oh, I cannot get up there, I don't think. Never mind, that's just back where White started, I think. Yeah, I believe so. Damn it. Shit.
Okay, so do I just have to run all the way back then? There are no more explosives. Oh, well, there's one over there. However, I'm running out of health. Uh, oh, I don't have any health. Well. Oh, we are done. Well, that's not nice. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, I lasted longer than expected for a first attempt. So, not so bad. <laughs> Let's do this again. Did I miss that second shot? I think I did. Already. Can I do this? I mean, he's still moving a lot, to be fair. No. Don't do it. Ah, oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Okay. This is fine. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on now. Okay. Oh no, I need more. Wait. Let me reload. Come on. No, not that one. On this side. Okay. Where are you? Oh, what now? He's not dead, is he? Whoa. This this is new. Finally, a look that suits you, Sadler. A monster in and out. Still, I need to cut this date short. It's not me. It's you. 
Okay. Do I just shoot that? In the center, that's all. I don't know. Oh. I, I don't see anything else to shoot, so hey, wait. Let me reload, please. Wow, I walked into that. Hey, man. Do I just tank these hits? Ah! There she is! Thank you! Yeah, the special rocket launcher. So I don't use... Just do that? I guess so. Sample, I presume. <laughs> Quick before Ada. Oh, damn it. Yep. Ada. What the hell are you doing? Nothing personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it. Right here. You coming? I think we both know this. This is where we go our separate ways. Hey, that's the DLC. <laughs> I see. I mean, maybe if, if I wasn't with Ashley right now. Better get a move on. Until next time, Leon. Until they remake Resident Evil 6. Leon! <laughs> if ever. Where is she going? Who knows? I don't understand. Why would she just... Gotta move. Island's gonna blow. It's gonna what? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, damn it. Yeah, skip through the island. So, yeah, there was not much to that uh, second phase of the battle, if you will. The real fight was the first part. Uh, so, I still have uh, a decent amount of stuff, right? Healing items, specifically. Okay, sure. So, how are you going to escape? <laughs> I was going to say, Leon. He seemed pretty confident by not going with Ada, but uh, at least Ada gave us something. A little key. Hey, and a convenient save. Do I save it? Do I bother saving? I guess I do. Sure. Just our traditional uh, escape sequence in Resident Evil games. With a timer, of course. Because everything's going to explode now. now we can go home. We're not out of here yet. I suppose there's no treasure, right? No, I got the achievement, so no more treasures. Thank you. Okay. Man. I don't think I need to bother with these dudes. Oh, yeah. They're nothing now, their master's gone. Oh. It's over for them. Really? Because Sadler died? 
Maybe ah the parasite inside them died as well. Is that it? I guess. Is that how it was in the original? I don't know. Yeah, look at it. Poor bastards. That would have been us. Well, assuming someone else kills Adler, of course. And yeah, water scooter key. The key you receive from Neira, it has a cute bear keychain attached to it. Of course it does. <laughs> you like thrill rides? I love them. You're gonna love this. Yeah, last mini game. Right here. Okay, can I accelerate? Yeah. Okay. Just like the old days. Whoa. Oh, come on. I dodged that game. Damn it. Little ramp. Yeah. Can I make a special move there? Uh, 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 well, I guess I get to try again. <laughs> I want to make the special uh, jump, the back jump, the side jump, what was it? Whoa, I did it. I did it. You see that? I did the flip. Come on. Okay. On the left again. Not so much. Now on the right. Left. Whoa, whoa. Another ramp. There you go. <laughs> it's a different one. I don't remember that move. Whoa. Everything's collapsing, alright, alright. Again, again. Yes, Ashley's loving it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, I missed that. I didn't know that was a ramp as well. I thought I had to dodge. Did I miss that jump? Maybe. Final one. You alright? I'm not sure that was insane. Mission accomplished, right? Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. You know, I could put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested? You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. Even if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. I think she was talking about something else, Leon. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Condor one? Bruce to Condor one, do you read me? Alright, Conigan exist. I forgot. Is coming? Is this thing even on? Leon! Leon, are you and Ashley alright? Where are you? Come on! <laughs> Yeah, poor Honigan, we left it hanging for a very long time. Since the castle, I believe, the very beginning of the castle. And there you go. That's the end. Just like the old game. Some credits. Ooh, what's this? Some, some nice visuals to go with. Same ending theme as well. It sounds like it. And finally, I completed the game. Yes, this took me a while. I didn't get the chance to play very often, sadly. 
And also I took my time editing these videos because I like to change a lot of things. And yes, it's a waste of time. Watching every episode twice, cutting things off and all of that, it takes a lot of time, but I wouldn't feel comfortable without doing it, so. And oh, it seems that we're going to see the lives of the villagers, just like the old game. What were they doing before everything happened? But yeah, in short, uh, this game is great. I don't think I got bored at any point. The game always tried to keep things fresh. Uh, new encounters, new fun set pieces every time. There's new ways to fight the enemies. There are some changes that I didn't like as much, but... But for the most part, this game is still pretty damn fun, I must say. Oh, here comes the change, I think. Yes, there is the cult. They are right, as the music changes. Something dark. Yeah, yeah, the cult. The people from the church. Los Illuminados. Sacrifices. Starting controlling the villagers, making them work. Digging up las plagas, all the bad stuff that they did. Yeah, yeah, tons of deaths. Pretty sad story, actually, what happened to these people once a uh, saddler came to this place. And yeah, there's the sample, the amber, and now Ada has it. Oh, okay. Patch me through. I've obtained the amber. Excellent. Just one question. Wait, was that it say like the screen? With this? What the we do not pay you to ask questions. All you need to know is a new dawn is breaking. A hundred will give their lives so that just one may live. I am expediting that change. So we're talking millions of casualties. Billions. How ambitious. We're changing course now. Okay, some Spanish guitar. Finish this. Just like how it started. Yeah. So, did Ada just betray Wesker? What was that? And also, was that really Etzela in the screen? I'm surprised I catch that, if that's the case. I recognize her by her hairstyle. I guess that's some foreshadowing for the events of Resident Evil 5. Or should I say, a future Resident Evil 5 remake. That's interesting. Makes sense. And here comes the credit song. Yeah, I'm going to talk over it, because I do have some things to say as a whole. My final opinions on this game, so... So hopefully I won't take too long speaking here. But hey, I need to keep practicing my English, so let's see. I'm going to record this as post-commentary, my final opinions, after I just edit everything in this video, because, well, I want to organize my thoughts. So I don't forget to talk about anything that I wanted. So let's see, where do I start? Oh, I, I guess I could talk very quick about the island as a whole. Just for comparison to the old game. I did the same with the other sections, the castle and the village. Yeah, it seems like the island is the place that got the most changes out of the three major areas in the game. Which makes sense because it was a, the place that had some <laughs> mixed opinions in the from the original game, there were some tedious sections back then, and yeah, I will say the pacing felt better in this version. The island didn't feel as long and as tedious as in the old game. They did change a lot of stuff, but they still kept some of the iconic 
events, the set pieces from the old game, it's still recognizable as the island from the old game. I might have liked this version of the island better, it's hard to say, really. It was more fun in some parts, especially the Call of Duty area. I feel like that part dragged out a lot in the old game, and this one wasn't that bad. The whole section with Mike was pretty fun, the fight against Krauser was pretty cool as well. The only thing missing was that boss fight right in the underground, with that uh, scorpion looking guy. I don't remember his name because it's the only monster who doesn't have a fancy Spanish name. His name was just a number, a code, I think, I don't remember. But I already know that he appears in Ada's campaign, I got spoiled by some YouTube thumbnails, I know he's in, in the DLC, so I'm glad that they brought it back somehow, even if it's not in the main game, because it was a cool, a cool fight, a cool concept at least. And yeah, the final encounter with Sadler, the final boss, pretty cool, it was, pre it was pretty much the same as the old game, just expanded, the area was bigger, he had some new moves and new faces, but it was pretty much the same. Uh, Sadler as a, as a character is not pretty interesting to me, but <laughs> as a boss, as a giant monster, it's pretty neat, I guess. I like the fight. I like the final section, although it was pretty simple when he encloses Leon and you have to shoot the rocket launcher. There wasn't much to it, to be honest, I wish there was more to that phase of the fight. Maybe they could have had Ada help Leon fight Sadler at that point, that would have been cool. Every section that had regenerators was pretty pretty spooky, very good atmosphere, the horror in, the, in those sections was, was well done, I would say. And yeah, those guys. The regenerators are still as creepy as ever, they look different, but they are still a, a pretty memorable enemy. Pretty scary, pretty difficult to fight against, uh, I, never, I never tried to parry them, because they were pretty intimidating, I didn't think to try even, but uh, I'm sure you can, you pretty much can parry anything in this game, it seems. But yeah, uh, parry is a new mechanic in this game and it was pretty fun. So I like it, it's nothing groundbreaking, nothing revolutionary, but it's fun, it's a fun addition, it works, it's okay. This game didn't do anything new, it didn't revolutionize gaming, it didn't change history like the original RE4 did, but it didn't have to really, this is just a remake. It didn't need to reinvent the wheel, it just needed to polish the wheel, give it a, a coat of painting and maybe add some stuff to it. And that's totally fine, that's what the game did, and it did a good job, I will say. To really change the formula or create new, new stuff, I think that's the job for a brand new Resident Evil. And Resident Evil 7 pretty much already did that back then. It really brought back the franchise and it brought back Capcom, because they weren't doing really well before that, to be honest. It all started with Resident Evil 7, it was very successful, then came... Monster Hunter World, Mega Man 11, then the other remakes came, and everything was pretty damn good. Well, I, except Resident Evil 3 remake, I didn't play it, but I know a lot of people weren't happy with, with that game. It wasn't very good, apparently. But other than that, Capcom is really doing very well right now. Street Fighter 6 is doing just fine right now. Everything looks pretty nice for Capcom for the future. So yeah, there will be, of course, more Resident Evil games, more remakes. But this one, this one specifically, was one of the better ones, of course. Makes sense, Resident Evil 4 is very legendary. They have to make an effort. And they did. Hey, more Spanish guitar. Ah, and yeah, also, by the way, I realized, I didn't mention it, but the original <laughs> Spanish music in the intro, in the, in the old game, it was in this game. It came back in the shooting gallery, in the bonus sections, when you get the big scores. They brought it back, it was a very nice detail. And yeah, this game is full with all of these nice details, callbacks to the old game. A lot of respect from the original RE4 went into this. Even if you didn't like the changes, you can really tell that they put a lot of effort and passion into this project. They weren't lazy by any means, right? Again, even if, if you don't agree with the decisions they took with some of the events of the game, uh, they clearly had a goal in mind, and they worked very hard 
into realizing that goal, right? The team definitely care about the franchise and about the old game. Regardless of how the story went in this version or how the characters were portrayed, whether it works or not, uh, the team clearly had a vision and they went with it to the end while trying to respect most aspects of the old game. So I think that's pretty commendable. Oh, what's this? Another scene? All oh, right, Honigan. Without the glasses. Yes, that's just what was missing from this game, of course. I'm surprised they didn't do, they didn't do more with Honigan in this version of the game. I forgot she existed for the most part. Hey, I gotta be 34 hours. This game is not that long, believe me, but I do play really slow these games. I really took my time with this one. Yeah, I play really slow because I stop a lot to admire the environment, all the scenery, the new places, to talk about how the story is going, my thoughts at the moment, my opinions, to read all the documents, the files, trying to understand the story. Again, if someone is still watching this Let's Play until now, I guess they you didn't mind me playing like that, playing that slow, taking my time. But yeah, this is a first playthrough, so I really wanted to absorb everything that this game has to offer, everything I can. Because again, the team clearly put an effort in this game. Oh, let's see the chat results. Right, Darkest Before Dawn, The Perfect Piece, A Masterpiece, Get an Exclusive Upgrade, okay. Your small time, yes, that was the classic line in the old game, one of the many. You see, even in these chapter results, there were a lot of references, easter eggs to the old game. So it's all part of the passion that was put into this project. As I said many times, pretty neat details. Okay, just a few more. Uh, nothing special here. Just a single treasure, raider. Complete the main story, okay. Hardcore, right. Hey, unlock costume, the pinstripe, the classic uh, mafia kind of outfit from the old game, uh, some sunglasses, a phone mask, okay, a flight cap, uh, sure, some more glasses, a flight helmet, uh, I guess to remember Mike, <laughs> a surgical mask, what? Is this a COVID reference? I mean, is it because now it's seen as an accessory? Well, in Japan, that was always the case, so maybe. All right, that's it. Uh, chapter playtime, over one hour and 15 minutes, pretty much. It was mostly just the boss fight and the escape sequence, right? Not much to this chapter, but still pretty, pretty entertaining. Yeah, this game felt pretty much as long as the old one, maybe a little longer because of the expanded sections, all the new puzzles, the backtracking, Especially in the village area, trying to collect all the all the treasures, uh, finding the keys, the combinations, all of that. But all of that is optional. You can just skip straight to the main story. So the pacing is still pretty damn great in this game. No complaints there. There is a lot of content in this game and lots of replayability, I'm sure. Oh, when loading main story saved data from a completed playthrough, you can carry over the data and start a new game. You will be able to purchase new weapons from the merchant, but you cannot achieve an S plus rank. Right, like new game plus. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess I could play it in professional now with all my weapons. Or do I have to start with nothing? I don't know, I probably will try that later. Because in the Ari 2 remake, I actually... Uh, Got the Platinum Trophy on PlayStation 4. I got all the S-Ranks, uh, unlocked all the special weapons, the Infinite Rocket Launcher, the Knife, all of that stuff. Because I really enjoyed that game a lot. That wa there was a lot of strategy and tactics to use in that game, so it was pretty challenging in a good way. However, because this game is so chaotic and the gameplay is so messy at times, I don't know if playing at the hardest difficulties is going to be that enjoyable in this game? Maybe it's going to be very frustrating? I don't know. I guess I will find out eventually. Alright, one last save. And there it is, the new playthrough. Alright. 
and let's see. So what's next? Uh, I guess we're going back to the main menu now. Hey, there it is, and look at that. They changed the background, just like in the old game, right? They're, they were showing the village as well, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Nice detail game, nice detail. Oh, professional mode has been unlocked. You can select the game mode when loading save data from a completed playthrough or when starting a new game. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I will try that at some point. Extra content shop, what do we have here? A costume for Leon. Oh, there's the jacket. Nice game. I can have it. I'm like the old game. Because yeah, the jacket was stolen. Never to come back. But hey, nice detail. So this is what you use the points for. I always forget I get points at the end of each mission. And yeah, I, I guess we can buy all sorts of things here. Outfits. Uh, there's also the no jacket option for Ashley. All the outfits. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Just more NPCs. The enemies, models, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they are just models. Oh, Wesker. I forgot to talk about Wesker, right? Yeah, we didn't, we didn't see much of him, but he did appear a little more than in the old game, right? Yeah, he had some conversations with Ada and stuff, some foreshadowing for uh, Resident Evil 5, but not much. Again, I guess we'll see more of him in Ada's DLC, which I have been spoiled a little bit about uh, Wesker's full appearance in that game and in the Mercenaries mode. But yeah, I'm still going to play that soon. I'm going to buy it. The DLC is pretty cheap. So that should be a fun time. Maybe we'll see more about Luis as well, I don't know. It's going to be interesting for sure. There's tons of unlockables, a lot of models, enemies, the weapons, <laughs> lots of stuff, accessories, the treasures. And what is this? Oh, character concept art. That's pretty neat. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff here to unlock if you care about these things. Oh, just to get the 100% completion, I guess. Hey! Oh, the Ramon dolls. Wait, I didn't get them all? Oh, I totally missed one. Didn't I? Yeah, I never got the Steam achievement, so I think I missed only one. <laughs> well, that's fortunate. What else? Okay, yeah, concept art, models, uh, challenges? What is this? Oh, okay. Right, I remember this as well. Uh, nothing too special, the fit centered and amount of enemies. Uh, wait, photo mode? This game has a photo mode? <laughs> I didn't notice. Okay, the fit more enemies with a magnum, with, with each weapon pretty much, nothing special. Yeah, okay. The credits and that's it, it seems. Back in the main menu. Alright then. Uh, wait, where is the mercenary mode? I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's an add-on, I have to download it or, or upgrade the game, I don't know. In the old game, uh, yeah, there was the mercenary mode. It was pretty challenging, and when I was a teenager, I couldn't beat it on my own. It was too difficult for me. So I had an older relative to beat the game and unlock the special weapon you get from that, which is the hand cannon. Pretty amazing weapon, I don't know if that's still in the game. I do know that the laser gun, uh, I don't know the name, I, I know that that's not in this game apparently, which is pretty sad. That was a pretty funny weapon. Yes, it was out of place, but who cares, it's a video game. <laughs> so we'll see. However, I am very afraid of how tough the mercenaries mode is going to be in this version of the game. I will try it at some point as well. But for now, it seems that we are pretty much done with this game. I can finally end this let's play because yes, I took my time. It took a lot of time to edit these videos because uh, I wasn't confident about the way I was speaking because yes, I'm still learning English as I said at the very beginning this is the main reason for this channel I want to play these games to practice my English because I don't know, I don't have any other way to do it really, I don't live in an English-speaking country none of my close uh, friends or relatives speak English so I'm on my own this is my way of practicing so yeah, this is, there is going to be more games in this channel eventually. This is just a hobby. So it's not going to be very often that I upload anything. And next time I'm not going to take all that time editing these videos. I'm just, to, I'm just going to record them and 
keep them as they are, for the most part, with all of my weird pronunciations, my mistakes, and hopefully it'll get better with time and practice. I just wanted this very first Let's Play to, to be a little more clean, so I edited a lot, but that takes too long, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Starting with the ARA DLC, which I'm going to play next, as well as other games. I'm going to play mostly uh, blind Let's Plays, uh, games I'm playing for the very first time, but maybe later there's going to be some old ones for nostalgia. Who knows? There's going to be more videos eventually. I'm really not trying to get a lot of views. I don't think there's a lot of people watching these videos, but if you or anyone is watching this still, thank you for staying here on this channel. And I hope you stay for future uh, Let's Plays, for future games. As I said, it's not going to be very frequent. Maybe I will stream at some point here uh, or in Twitch and upload the bots here. I don't know. We'll see what, what happens next. So, that's all I wanted to say. However, I do have some final thoughts on the game itself, some final opinions. But I'm going to keep those from, for a different video because this is getting too long. I just want to separate that stuff, which no one may care to watch, but again, uh, I want to let out some of my thoughts and express them in some way. More English practice, as I said, so I'm going to keep that as a different video after this one. So for now, this is it. And I'll see you guys in the next game, someday. So goodbye and take care.